Epilogue, Canto 35, from Clarel, A Poem and Pilgrimage in the Holy Land, by Herman Melville, first published in 1876. Read for LibriVox.org. Canto 35, Epilogue. If Luther's day expand to Darwin's year, shall that exclude the hope? foreclose the fear unmoved by all the claims our times avow the ancient sphinx still keeps the porch of shade and comes despair whom not her calm may cow and coldly on that adamantine brow scrawls undeterred his bitter pasquinade but faith who from the scrawl indignant turns with blood-warm oozing from her wounded trust inscribes even on her shards of broken urns the sign of the cross the spirit above the dust yea ape and angel strife and old debate the harps of heaven and dreary gongs of hell science the feud can only aggravate no umpire she betwixt the chimes and knell the running battle of the star and clod shall run for ever if there be no god degrees we know unknown in days before the light is greater hence the shadow more and a tantalized and apprehensive man appealing wherefore ripen us to pain seems there the spokesman of dumb nature's train but through such strange illusions have they passed who in life's pilgrimage have baffled striven even death may prove unreal at the last and stoics be astounded into heaven then keep thy heart though yet but ill resigned clarel thy heart the issues there but mind that like the crocus budding through the snow that like a swimmer rising from the deep that like a burning secret which doth go even from the bosom that would hoard and keep emerge thou mayst from the last whelming sea and prove that death but routs life into victory end of poem this recording is in the public domain